Welcome to Tekidia Daily. I'm the BC Ekeke. A conversation today will focus on understanding organically regenerative web companies. So essentially, we'll be looking at uh, the construct of network effects, which basically uh, make technology companies operating in the web domain to become more viable, more important, more useful as more people come into that ecosystem. The more users you have in Facebook, the better the quality. The more users you have in an app ecosystem, the better the experience. So this is one of the most cardinal elements why these companies pursue growth before any other thing they do. Because the best feature in their technology space, in their technology domain, is really having a lot of users. So one of the ways they do this is by making it possible that the raw material upon which this network effect runs is aggregated. That is aggregation basically means that the users are creating the content, the raw material upon which the tech companies through their platforms are helping people to make sense of. In other words, there are thousands of thousands of websites in the world but if you have to visit any each of these websites before you can find any information you need, you are going to have no luck. So Google adds this value. By now saying, I am going to just take you to the most important website based on the query that you are typing in Google search. So by looking at that query, Google takes you to the website it thinks that has the information that you are looking for. And when they do that, they are invoxing the experience. We always do not like in the physical space. So you go into the, to, to, to a bank, you don't necessarily like the experience of having so many people in the bank halls. But when you come into the technology space, the more people, the better in your banking application. You know, if you are, uh, watching a movie uh, if you are doing certain things maybe you are shopping in a mall you don't like to have every place crowded but the reality is that the digital companies when you come into their digital malls if you don't have so many people participating you've actually lost the exciting element of it so they have invoked that experience which is a pain point in the traditional offline business into something of strength whenever it happens. The more the number of users, the better the experience. And that gives them scalable advantage because the marginal cost of adding one extra user for most of these companies is near to zero. So that means they can continue to build their scale, continue to expand without a lot of which cost and that makes them utilities they become category kings and they become like a, a monopolies so as they do this thing they have this regenerative capability what that means here is that they continue to grow even when you think that they cannot come back to life and grow they continue to grow because it is a positive continuum a virtuous cycle that continues to drive itself. So that's the reason that if you have a regulation that says let's break Facebook into pieces, you are just going to destroy the Facebook as a company. But another company that offers what Facebook offers today can still grow even more than Facebook. Because this inherent network effect, invisibility of inherent element in web businesses, basically make it very difficult for these companies not to grow. So it is part of the inherent feature in web businesses they are organically regenerative the capacity that the best among them in terms of delivering the best experience will continue to add more users because the better experience the more the number of users come and the more the number of users they use the data to make it even a better experience and that continues to be the fact that if you break them into pieces Somebody has to fill up that vacuum. Unlike if you break 
a company like GE into B6, it may not necessarily really generate because that inversibility that the network network effect you join in the in the, in the in the digital space, the mixed space companies don't enjoy it. So that's why it is very what it is. And that is why building a digital business can actually be extremely challenging because some of these utilities that we have today can basically lock all the potential opportunities for somebody to go in. I always recommend that African companies must find a way to differentiate at local level because there is nothing really there at the global level. We have utilities and everyone has to get into the world of web through them. You are listening to Tekidia Daily. Thank you.